Let's say we did a study where we wanted to examine how people's maths marks at the end of the year would be affected by the number of hours that they studied per day. Okay, so these hours over here are hours studied per day. And what it tells us is that if you study zero hours per day, you would get 20% for your maths mark, and then one hour per day you'd get 35, blah, blah, blah. So we can see all of that over there. If we had to plot these points on a graph, then it would look something like this, where we can see that there appears to be a straight line, but what I'm going to show you is that that straight line, it's not going to be perfect. Have a look here. So what you can see is that that line doesn't go through every single point. But what they do in real life, in statistics, is they they say, okay, well, this seems to be quite a, this line seems to match the data quite well. So maybe instead of having to do further studies, or having to see what happens after seven hours, eight hours, we can just use the equation of this straight line. So in grade 12 statistics, you can work out the equation of this line, but don't use y equals to mx plus c. In grade 12 statistics, we use y equals to a plus bx. Okay, now that is given to you on your formula sheet. So this is a typical grade 12 formula sheet. Obviously, it's not the complete one. I have just showing you the bottom part, but right at the bottom of your formula sheet, you'll have this over here. So that is the formula that we use for grade 12 statistics. Now, you don't have to actually work anything out in grade 12 statistics. You do everything on the calculator. It's awesome. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to try to work out the equation of this line, but the calculator is going to do it for us. So we're going to plug all of these values in the table. We're going to plug those into our calculator like this. So you're gonna to go to your calculator. Most most of you use a Casio. Um, if you use a sharp calculator, then just try to figure out how to do it. It is possible to do it. You're just gonna to go to mode, and we're gonna to go to number three, which is stats mode. Now in grade 11, you typically choose option number one. But for grade 12 statistics, we can see number two says A plus BX, and that's what we want, so we say number two. We then put all these values in. So I'll do the first two rows with you, so that'll be zero and then you say equals, and then you go up to the side, and the y value that for that one is 20, and then you say equals, and then you go one. Yeah, you might wanna just put all the x values in first, because it's quite a long process. Then you say 35 equals, okay? And then you, we're just gonna carry on and fill all of that in. And so there, all the values have been put in. What you then do is you just set, you go push on again, then you go shift, and you go down to the number one, which says stat. Then in grade 11, you typically go to number four for variance, but for grade 12, in this section, we're gonna to go to five for regression. And there's your A value and your B value. Have a look at that R value. We are gonna come back to that just now. So we're gonna push number one for now, just so we can get our A value, and we'll write that down. Then we can get the B value, which is 7.10. I'm just going to write that down. And then I also just want to get the R value so long, but I'll explain what the R value is just now. And then if you get the R value, you get an R value of 0 0.998. So we can actually just round that up to 1. And then what we can do is fill those values into our equation. So we said our A value was 20.5, and our B value was 13.07. Let me just write that over here. I'll run, run out of space. So that's 20.5 plus 13.07x. This is going to be the equation of this line over here. So if they ask you any other questions, then you can just use this formula over here. For example, they might say, Okay, use the line to predict what someone's mark would be if they got if they studied for 5.5 hours. So we know that 5.5 is an x value. So to work out the y value, you would take this equation and plug in 5.5. You're not going to go to 5.5 here and look over there. You're going to plug it into the equation. And what you get when you plug 5.5 in is 92.39%. Then I might say, if someone gets 70%, how many hours do you think they studied? Well, the 70% is a y value, so you would use this equation again, but you would say 70 is equal to 20.5 plus 
plus 13.07x. You would then get x by itself and you'd get 3.79 hours. Okay, so that's how you use the, the equation. Now, how do we know if this line is a good line or not? Well, the closer the dots are, the better. But we can't say that in a test. In it, what we're going to do instead is we're going to use this value that we call r. And when we found r, we got a value that was pretty much equal to 1. Now what that means is that this line is almost perfect. Because remember it was actually 0 0.998. But if it, the answer was exactly 1, then it means perfect. Okay. What that would mean is that the line would have the dots exactly on it, okay? Whereas sometimes in statistics, you're going to get a line that looks something like this, where the dots are going to be something like that. Then your R value might be something like 0 0.6, okay? So an R value bigger than 0 0.8 is considered a very strong, we call it a strong correlation. So it means that the line and the dots match each other really well. If the R value is between 0 0.5, so R is bigger than 0 0.5 but smaller than 0 0.8, we call that an average, meaning it's okay but it's not great. And then an R value that is less than 0 0.5 is considered a weak. That's a terrible match. That would look something like this. That would be like having a line where the dots do something like that. Then you can also get negative R values. It's the exact same. That's just if the line is going downwards. Minus 1 is perfect. Between or anything above 0 0.8 is called strong. Between 0 0.5 and 0 0.8, well, in this case, it would be negative 0 0.5 and negative 0 0.8. That's average. And then anything smaller than 0 0.5 or ne sorry negative 0 0.5 that's going to be considered weak